welcome to my channel if this is your first time and welcome back if you're returning thank you so much for returning i really appreciate you all always coming back for more if you're not already subscribed you already know what to do go ahead and subscribe to my channel also click the notification bell next to the subscription box so you can be notified whenever i post amazing content such as what you're going to see today my name is Shoshina. I go by the stylish engineer and my channel is where beauty, fashion, and brains collide. So today's video is actually going to be a sponsor video. It is a Shein haul video and Shein hooked your girl up, okay? Let me show you what Shein gave me. This box is so heavy. It is filled with goodies. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Shein. I already got my scissors ready. I received this box, I believe it was yesterday. Haven't opened it yet, was waiting just for y'all to open it up. Also, I ordered some things um, myself that I paid for with my own money, it was not sponsored. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all some of those things as well. All the links to the items as usual will be in the description box down below. And let's stop wasting time. Let's go ahead and get on into the video. Okay, y'all. So I got the box open. This is all the stuff that's inside. I would like turn it over. Actually, yeah, let me turn it over. I hope I don't break nothing. Maybe I shouldn't. I was going to turn it over and drop everything out, but I'm too afraid to break things. Let me take the shoes out first. Then I'll turn it over. Oh, got a lot of shoes. Okay, now I can turn it over. So, thank you, she is. Thank you, she is. Thank you, she in. Okay, so this is gonna be a long video. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I'll try to edit it down to less than 30 minutes. I hope I don't take too much of you all's time. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna start with the shoes. So, I kind of forgot some of the things that I picked, so I'm gonna be a little surprised when I'm opening it. So these shoes, I've been eyeballing these shoes for so long. They're so cute. It says she and in. I never knew. Can y'all see it? This light is too bright. Hold on. Let's turn it down. Okay, so it says it's a glare. She and in. I never knew that that was the name of the company, but anyway, that's besides the point. These mules are super duper cute. They are, um, they have like maybe a one and a half inch heel to them. They're pointed at the toe. I got these, I believe this, this is a size European 41, which I believe is a size nine, nine and a half or so, um, US sizes, but these are very cute. It's like a nude tan. Uh, I don't know what color this is. Like tan, nude kind of color. It's very pretty. Let me just try it on right here because I haven't taken anything out of the package. So I just want to make sure it fits. Okay. I was a little concerned that it would be a little too small. And my concern was correct. <laughs> so I probably needed to get these in a size up. Unfortunately, since I was blessed with large feet, I have a hard time finding shoes, you know, especially when I'm buying from Shein because a lot of their sizes, in my opinion, the shoes are smaller than what they should be. So my foot is kind of hanging off at the back, but I think with some long pants, I can work it out. And they're so cute, people might not even notice. So yeah, I think these shoes are definitely a win. Okay, so the next shoes, I'm noticing a trend. Like their stuff all says she and in. I don't know if they're changing the name or not, but I thought it was just she in. But, ooh, these, ooh. I remember these. These shoes are so beautiful. They remind me, I don't know if you all saw my Just Fab haul. Just Fab, ooh, Just Fab and Shein haul. If you haven't, go check it out. Check out all my videos that I posted before. Go ahead and support your girl, like, comment, etc. But these remind me of a pair of shoes that I posted from Just Fab not too long ago because it had like a similar heel situation going on but it had like these little balls all the way down but i love this little geometric heel it's so pretty it's like a faux snake skin print 
let me turn down the light. Okay, so the heel itself is like a faux snakeskin print. It is a dark kind of deep tan color. It's really cute. I really hope these fit. Um, I thought these would look very pretty with like some capri or kind of high water mom jeans. They probably would look good with skinny jeans as well, but I was just envisioning like some mom jeans, a plain white tee um, tucked in and like a belt that matches this color. Let me slip them on real quick. Okay, so these actually fit. They're kind of loose. So let me just explain, like this part right here is kind of a bit loose on my feet, but my feet do not hang off the back. So I do like that. But yeah, these are cute. I like them. I'm a little, I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed in how loose it fits around my foot. I never really saw my foot as being narrow, but maybe it is. But if you have wide feet, I do think these would be a good shoe for you to get because again, it's very loose for me around like this part here, but the shoe itself is very cute. I really love the heel. I think that's what really drew me to it. Um, prices will be down below. I don't think I mentioned it, but if you're not familiar with Shein, they're a very affordable um, clothing brand. They now carry men's um, clothing as well. At first it was just women's clothing, but they now are incorporating men's clothing as well. Shein always has sales. I have a discount code for Shein and it is 1VSE. You can get 15% off your, oh, my ice maker is so disrespectful, <laughs> but you can get 15% off your purchase. Go ahead and leave that in the description box. But yes, their prices are always affordable. And then on top of that, you can get 15% off, sis. Make sure you use my discount code. It helps me out. It helps me bring you all videos like this and I would greatly appreciate it. And your bank account will too, cause you'll save 15%. And the last pair of shoes, I think, yeah. These are the last pair of shoes. Ooh, okay. Okay. These are a lot louder than I thought. <laughs> so, oh no, these, okay, let me turn down the light. These babies, I'm sorry y'all, for some reason the lighting is just not good at all. You can't catch the right look. Let me try to close my blinds, hold on. Okay, so I think that helped a little bit, but not exactly. For some reason it's still like, I just have to turn the light off. It'll get bright again, you guys. But these are the shoes. They are a very bright yellow-ish green neon color. They are super loud. Like when I got these, I was not expecting them to be this loud, but I still think they're cute. Like they have the clear strap here, which looks, it looks like it's gonna be big like the other ones. But let me go ahead and try it on, see how it looks. So I was right, um, it's a little loose. Actually, it's a lot loose around my foot. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to walk in these cause like even right now, I'm trying to keep them on my foot as I walk. So that's a little disappointing. I might try to take it to my shoe. Um, I think it's called a cobbler um, in my neighborhood and see if he can like make this a little smaller. Cause this is actually the problem here. It's not tight enough to fit my actual foot. Um, again, if you have wide feet, this would be a good shoe for you to try out because this part right here is really loose and it is wide feet friendly. But these shoes are still cute. I'm not gonna knock the shoe. I think it's very cute. It just doesn't fit my personal feet like I would like it to. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all the accessories. I already did the shoes. Next, I'm gonna do handbags and then I got some jewelry and I got a pair of glasses. So let me go ahead and do the handbags now. Oh wow, I got three handbags, okay. So one thing about me to know is that I love accessories, I love shoes, I love purses, I love jewelry, I have way too much, I have more than I need. I love clothes too, but I feel like you can have a very basic wardrobe as long as you have the right accessories 
all your looks can be on point. So this bag I thought was really cute. It is kind of like a, I don't know what color you would call this, kind of a caramel color. It has two straps here as you can see. And then also it has a cross body strap that you can attach. I would probably just wear it like, I might keep the strap attached, but I think I would mostly carry it like this with the handle instead of putting it on my shoulder like a crossbody bag. But this purse is so cute. It's a faux croc material. And again, it's like a caramel kind of um, color. It's really pretty. It's like a really soft caramel color. It's very pretty. Um, I think it's gonna be great for spring. I think this bag is also transitional. I think it will look great in the fall time as well because we know fall time is when people wear tans and browns and I think this would go well with that, but it's like a soft color, so it will be perfect for spring as well. Okay, here's another bag. I know which one this one is. It's a brown croc material, like faux croc. Um, ooh, that smell. Hmm, I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really familiar. Anyway, <laughs> so. This is the bag, I think it's super duper cute. Oh my gosh, like y'all, this bag is cute. It has like a little button here, keeps the bag secure, and then you just unclasp the button, and that's how you open it. It has this really cute little pouch inside. So the pouch has little buckles here, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it has a strap inside, and you can attach the strap to the pouch and it's kind of like two purses in one. I love that. So you can attach the straps to the pouch like this, wear it like crossbody, or this isn't crossbody, but wear it over the shoulder and you can adjust the straps to make it longer and wear it like as a crossbody bag. Or you could also attach the same strap to the inside of the purse and just kind of wear this purse as a crossbody bag or they have a cute little short handle carried with the short strap. So I really like this design. I think Shein really did it with this purse. It's super cute. But let me just show you how this looks like this. So this is another way that you can wear the bag. Super cute. Okay, Shein. I see you, Shein. But yeah, that's the bag number two, or should I say two and three. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, in my hair. Okay, so here is another bag. Now this bag, I did not receive complimentary. I actually am a Shein customer. I do spend my coins on the Shein website. I don't just wait for them to send me stuff. So I did buy this, I wanna say, maybe a few weeks ago, I went online and, and um, made a purchase with Shein. It's this cute little red bag. It's super simple. It has no embellishments, no you know gold, silver, nothing. It's just plain faux leather, reddish maroon bag. It's very structured and it opens to three different um, compartments. Yeah, three different compartments. So it has the two on the side. Oh, I hope y'all didn't hear that. Somebody out there driving like a maniac, but the inside opens into like a little pouch right there. So this also can be worn just like this, or you can attach the straps, which I'm not gonna do. You all can use your imagination, but yeah, you can attach the straps. They're adjustable straps and you can wear them like, um, you can wear it like a crossbody bag as well. I think out of all the purses, this might actually be my favorite. I really like this handbag. It's so pretty. It looks expensive, it looks luxury, and it really was very affordable. So I always love things like that. You look expensive, but you don't cost me all my coins. Like, yes. I'm starting to think I should have done the accessories last. I don't know how, like what order I should be doing this in because this is my first time having like a huge haul like this with a whole bunch of different, you know, styles and different items. But this is the last of the accessories. So we're about to get onto the clothes shortly. 
but I forgot what, oh, okay, okay. So these I had seen, they're sunglasses. I had seen them on Instagram. One of the girls I follow on Instagram, she had worn these. I asked her, sis, where'd you get them glasses? And she said, Shein, girl. So I went to Shein's website and found them, luckily. Now, I don't know if they are gonna look like they did on her, on me. But regardless, I thought they were so cute. <laughs> let me let you all see. They look like this. Let me turn down the light real quick. So this is what they look like. I think they're very cute. I think they're very spring. They are giving me, I think this is kind of a 90s vibe. I'm not really sure what decade. I don't know if it's the 80s or the 90s. I feel like it's giving me 90s vibe, like cat, or maybe it is 80s, but super duper cat eye. They are not um, opaque. They're completely see-through. So they're definitely not for um, like to block the sun. They're definitely not functional. They're more fashion. And sometimes we want fashion over function. So these are really cute. I really like them. They're kind of giving me like, um, teacher like I look like a teacher I think it's the 80s it's giving me like 80s teacher vibe but these are so cute I really like these I'm definitely going to be rocking these quite often in the springtime but thank you girl I think her name is Kariah thank you Kariah for this um suggestion I really really or not suggestion she didn't suggest it I asked her about it, <laughs> but thank you Kariah for sharing these on your Instagram because I really love these. These are super cute. Let me go ahead and show you all the last accessory. It is ear cuffs. So I don't have, I have three piercings. I don't know if y'all can see it. So I have three piercings on each ear, one, two, three, but I don't have any piercings up at the top. I always wanted them in college and I never got them. And now I feel like I'm too old to get them. So I got some ear cuffs that I can put on my ears to kind of make it look like they're pierced and not have to deal with the pain and the healing process. But they're cute. I don't know how long they are gonna remain gold, <laughs> but they're very cute. Let me see if I could put one of them on so you all can see how it looks. This one's big, I'm not really sure if this is supposed to oh i guess you're supposed to press it okay so we'll do this one here so you just put it on and press it let me try to get a little closer okay so yeah that's how it looks you know see it yeah super cute i will definitely be wearing these these are cute and it comes with one two three four and then five so it comes with five different designs and they're oh. <laughs> so they're very basic designs here is oops, the cameras over here so here's one of them yeah very basic very simple this one has like a star on it these are really cute I can't wait to wear them so if it focus, okay. But yeah, I'm not gonna show y'all all of them. But yeah, it's basically simple ear cuffs. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off for now. I really like these. This was a good buy. I think it was like $1 or $1.99 or something like that. So I ain't mad at it. It's cute. Okay, so I'm done with accessories. We're gonna go ahead and move into clothing. I'm still loving these sunglasses, debating if I should just keep them on for the video. <laughs> no, I'll go ahead and take them off. I'm getting distracted. Yeah. Where shall we start? I'll start. I'll go ahead and start with the t-shirt. So this t-shirt is, and I actually, I'll just start with the items that I purchased. Let's just do that. It makes it more easy. So this t-shirt is like an abstract t-shirt that I thought was really, really cute. What size did I get? This looks very, this looks like a large. I thought I picked medium, but maybe I, maybe I picked large. Okay, so it's a medium, wow. Okay, so I would highly recommend maybe sizing down if you don't want it to be oversized because I was trying to go for more like a fitted look, but it's still gonna be cute. Like it's still gonna be 
nice but yeah it's like an abstract um, it has like two faces on it but they're just kind of like merge kind of into one it's very very cute it's giving me van gogh vibes is it van gogh or is it picasso, picasso. it's giving me picasso vibes very abstract very you know it's just different it looks different and i think this would look cute um paired with some high waist like mom jeans or some boyfriend jeans something but yeah this is cute i really like this top but yeah this style is in right now i'm seeing a lot of like um, home decor even with like this abstract kind of design on it so I thought I won't bring it into my home but I will wear it on my body I like how it looks so I'm very pleased with this purchase but I would recommend sizing down if you don't want it to be like oversized okay so next I've already um, worn this item like well haven't gone anywhere but I've worn it around the house and kind of taken some pictures in it but it's like a lace um bodysuit let me slide to the side actually i think i was wearing this yeah i was i was wearing this in my video from last week and if you haven't seen it you should go check it out i'm gonna go ahead and add a card somewhere at the top so you all can check it out after you finish this video it's a boohoo forever 21 haul and i'm actually wearing this shein bodysuit it's very very cute it's very feminine, lacy, sexy, all the above. I like that it has like a built-in, um, it's not a bra, but the, like the part that covers your bosoms is not see-through. So you don't actually have to wear a bra with this blouse um, or with this bodysuit. I wouldn't recommend wearing a bra because you don't have to since they did put lining in this part. But I would like recommend possibly wearing pasties or something like that. But yeah, this is cute. The back is like really lacy and see-through. So you definitely don't want your bra showing through this top. Like that's not a look, sis. Don't wear a bra with this top. You can wear it with some high-waist skinny jeans or you probably could even wear like a skirt with it. I thought it was raining outside, but you probably could wear a skirt with it. It's so versatile. You can wear this with so many things. Um, you can throw on a blazer with it, put on some mom jeans, some loose fitting mom jeans, boyfriend jeans, throw on a cute um, spring print or spring colored blazer, wear it to brunch, very cute. Last two items that I ordered were sets. So since we all are pretty much stuck in our homes, I wanted to get something that I can kind of wear around my apartment but like still feel cute because like all i've been wearing for the past month that we've been stuck inside the house is like t-shirts pajama pants i have been wearing some workout gear but i wanted to get something that would make me feel like kind of fashionable so i got this set they're like biker it's a like a rust color biker shorts with the elastic waistband and then it came with like this cropped, um, it's not really a sweater, but that's probably the best way I could describe it. Like a long sleeve kind of sweater, has a zipper here. It's trying to give me a hard time since I'm on camera. Okay, there we go. So the zipper unzips. So, you know, if you're a little hot or if you wanna look a little, a little cute for your man, you can unzip it here, make it look a little more sexy because it's not really all that sexy, but it is cute. Like I didn't get it to be sexy, I got it to be cute. It's very cropped. You can even still wear this outside the house, but my intention for getting it was to kind of like wear it around my apartment and just feel cute about myself. And I love the color. I am very biased to all things rust, neutral, brown, tan, orange. I love that like color palette. My apartment is decorated that way. And almost all my closet has like some kind of neutral colors to it so this jumpsuit or two-piece suit is super cute next three-piece set that i'm gonna show y'all is this one it has wow okay this is short i did not expect it to be this short so this is basically a bra i feel like you cannot lift up your arms or move at all <laughs> when you're wearing this but basically it's still cute though so it's a so 
sorry y'all my, my um, screen keeps going black but it's a like bralette for the top so the pants are kind of like loose fitting high waist it looks like let me back up so kind of high waist yeah they're high waist and they're very long if you're not like I would say you would probably have to be like five seven or taller in order for it not to drag the ground but I'm gonna be wearing heels with it anyway, so I don't care. But it has like a ribbed kind of um, material to it. But yeah, they're high waist, loose fitting. I think they're gonna fit like around the butt and the thigh and the hip area, but then past the knee, it gets loose fitting. And then you top it off with this really cute cardigan that matches. Like I couldn't believe she and had this on their website. This is giving me J Lux label vibes and somewhat Fashion Nova vibes as well. But it comes like with this long cardigan and it's very long. Let me just try it on real quick because I honestly feel like this is going to drag the ground because it looks really long. Ooh. Wow, this is cute. Yeah, it's very long. So you definitely will probably need to wear some heels with it. I think if I wear like <laughs> four or five inch heels, it won't drag the ground. So I don't wear heels that high typically. So it's probably gonna drag the ground on me, but I'm okay with that. This fits very nicely. I got it in a medium and I actually like this color. I'm not a fan of pink. I don't like wearing pink too often, but this color is pretty. It's not, it's more like a mauve color, like a mauve pink color. And then I dropped the sash. So it does have a sash and it has like sash straps where you can tie up um, the cardigan. You all will see how it looks in the video over here, but this might be my favorite purchase of this whole little like haul. This was the last thing that I actually purchased. So this might actually be my favorite. I do remember this one was, I wanna say $40. I think it's worth it. Um, you know, it's higher than what Shein typically has on their website, but I truly think it's worth it. The material is quality. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't look shiny. Like it looks good quality and it comes with three pieces. Like this will look amazing if you go to brunch. <laughs> Please provide me other alternatives for places to go, y'all, because I know I'm always talking about brunch. Like everything I buy, I'm like, this would be so cute for brunch, but that's all I could think of. So if you could think of anything else that I could wear this to, please let me know. But I do think this would look really cute for like a brunch date or something like that um, with like some, some pointed pumps or even like some, in my previous video, I showed some like clear perspex, lucite pointed pumps that would look really cute with this. But yeah, I really love this set and I think you will too. Link down below in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. So they did have a style that was a little bit longer on the website, but the difference was is that it wasn't double sided. So this has like the same material, like double sided kind of like the inside is lined so it just makes it a lot more thicker and sturdy y'all my camera just like went out <laughs> actually i'm using my phone and my battery is like really going down so i'm about to speed through these last five pieces really fast so this top is really cute i saw it on the website and knew i had to have it um i was debating i believe it comes in white unless i'm getting mixed up with something else but um, I think white would have looked so much better for springtime, but sometimes when I buy things, I'm thinking long-term, like, yeah, we're about to be, actually we are in spring, but somewhere down the line, we're gonna hit fall again. So I still think this one can be worn in springtime, but for this purchase, I was kind of thinking like, farther down the line, more like a uh, more like a fall look, but it's very tight. It's like ruched down at the bottom and then it's, could be worn off the shoulder or you can wear like on your shoulders and then the sleeves have like a po polka dot mesh very cute oh this would be even this reminds me of like oh it kind of reminds me of like a church hat anyway <laughs> so yeah this is really cute i love this top very sexy okay i got three dresses and then a jumpsuit or jumpsuit yeah jumpsuit so this is the first dress I'm gonna show, this is beyond extra. Like I don't even know 
what I was thinking when I picked this out because I don't even know if I will ever wear this dress out the house. But if you're into like, you know, puff, tool, it's so pretty. I feel like, okay, this would be cute if you had, like if you were having a baby shower, this would be a cute dress for a pregnant mama. This would be super cute with your belly like, oh, that would be so cute. Maybe I'll save it for that day. <laughs> but this dress is really pretty. It's off the shoulder. It has a similar style to the one that I'm wearing where like the sleeves are just attached at the bottom. But it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Maybe I will just be extra one day and wear it out in public. But it's a little short. It stops right above my knees, but that's not too short for me. And it's like in a new color. Again, I think it will be so ideal for like a baby shower or probably even like a wedding shower. I'm not sure, but something oh your birthday too bad my birthday just passed because this would be perfect for like it's my birthday type of yes so this is actually a perfect birthday dress maybe i'll save it for next year's birthday i still gotta wait 11 months for my next birthday but yeah this would be a cute birthday dress because you will definitely be the like you will be, I don't know what the word or the phrase is, but everybody will have their eyes on you in this dress. You will catch all eyes, trust this. Oh, with this one, next, it is a leopard print. Leopard print maxi dress. I hope I didn't mess up ordering it in a large because I really wanted to have like a, oversized maxi look but i know i'm gonna have to wear a belt with this it should oh it came with, okay i was gonna say it should have come with a belt and it did it's really a sash so it came with a sash and let me try to back up so you all can kind of see the full dress but yeah this is very very long it's a very long dress and it has slits down on the side it has a collar with buttons down the front and a sash it drags the ground, but not too bad. I probably would wear these with flats more than heels. I think this dress um, calls for like flats more than it does heels. Nevertheless, I like this dress. I like the color. And I think this would actually be cute if you go wine tasting. Um, you could wear it to a museum. There's so many places. You can even wear this just to run to the grocery store, to run to go shopping. You know, it's very cute. It's a casual dress, but you can dress it up by throwing on maybe not this sash, but throwing on like a cute um, belt that you have in your closet and some heels. But I can't wait to wear this. And this is another look that I was kind of looking into the future for because this is something that I think can transition well for fall if you just throw on some black um, suede boots like this would be cute and a cute black fedora hat yes it's talking about fall vibes all the way I'm trying to save my favorite for last but I feel like everything so far has been my favorite like this time around I was so happy that I got to pick so many items that I truly loved so this maxi dress, um, okay, it's a medium. Now the bust area, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit that. I might, I don't have enough at the top, but this dress is really pretty. Um, has the same kind of design as the one I'm wearing where the sleeves are just kind of attached down at the bottom. And let me see where it falls. So this is a nice fall. It falls like it's long. It kind of drags a little bit but I wouldn't wear heels with it. Like this is not a dress for heels. You'll see all these looks in the video that's gonna pop up right here. But this dress is pretty, very, very pretty. I love the print. It's definitely spring. Floral print is definitely spring. Um, I got this with Temecula wineries in mind because I could so see me wearing this to the winery or the wineries. Um, once I get a chance to. But yeah, this is pretty. And I think the color, like this color scheme, this color um, combination looks very nice against my brown skin. What y'all think? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't added a comment yet, what are you waiting for? Like, throw something in the comment section. Let me know what you've liked so far. Let me know maybe how you would style some of the looks. Let me know where you would wear some of the looks. Let me know what was your favorite look. 
anything you want. Just let me know something down in the comment section below. If you even have your own uh, YouTube page, let me know so I can check you out. I love discovering new YouTubers, um, YouTubers that are just now starting off like myself. I love to just see what you all are doing. I love seeing creativity. So yeah, if you have your own YouTube channel, let me know down below so I can check it out. Okay, so now we're down to the last look. And this, this, um, this jumpsuit is just so pretty to me. Like the colors, oh, it's so beautiful. So once I figure out how it goes, I show you. Look at this. Look at this chevron print. Like this is super duper adorable. It is giving me all kinds of Coachella Palm Springs, 1970s afros and all the above vibes like this is super duper cute i really love the print i really love the style even let me show you all the legs so the legs kind of have like seams and slight ruffles in them i can't wait to rock this jumpsuit like i hope it fits me well that's the one thing that i don't like about online shopping is that you you love a look, but sometimes it just don't fit you how it fit the model. So I'm crossing my fingers and praying that it fits me like it fit the model on the Shein website because honey, this is a look. It ties in the back, has like some sash or straps that you can tie in the back to help it fit you. And I'm just here for this print. If anything, the print and the color combination is so so lovely it is absolutely lovely it has oranges it has um, cream it has peach like all those beautiful colors like I'm trying not to cover up my microphone but I'm also trying to show you all this print like look at this it is so beautiful and it don't want to focus that well but yeah it's really really cute and I cannot wait to wear her out in the public eye. But that includes the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun showing you all all the goodies that I got. Thanks again to Shein. I'm so grateful for everything that they sent me. If you all saw anything that you liked, as I mentioned in the beginning, the links will be down below. All the sizes are down below so you all can see how it looked on me. I also leave all my measurements down below so you can kind of have a reference on what size you should get if you if your measurements are the same as mine. I'm gonna go ahead and slide over so I can plug my Instagram. I am on Instagram, I'm very active on Instagram. If seeing me once a week on YouTube is not enough for you, you can always follow your girl on Instagram. My handle is at the stylish engineer. I post Monday through Friday. I upload mostly fashion, but I also share skincare, beauty, food, travel, lifestyle, you name it. So go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram. I would love to have you join the fashionier community there. I hope you all are having a blessed day. I hope you all are staying safe. Hope you all are staying inside. And is there anything else? I don't think so. <laughs> So I'll just go ahead and say goodbye as usual. Stay stylish. Love you guys. Trying to catch my good side, y'all.